Hi, my lovely friends. Welcome back to Awesome Stories. Our story today is titled, Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving by Dave Pilkey. As we read, don't forget to look out for all the new word pop-ups and find your meaning at the end of the video. Let's read. Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded your school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. All oh, rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, your school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road, there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wandering eyes should they see but a miniature farm with eight tiny turkey and a little old man so lively and rugged they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then, in a twinkling, they had in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they run and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door and she asked Farmer Nugget what it was for. With the blink of his eye and the twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of drag. Tonight, said McNugget, these fiery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, cried McNugget. Now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to the quiet matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. They limped the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then, as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked around, not a turkey in sight. Was the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys. As guests, they feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful the turkeys were most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. The end. Okay, my friends, did you enjoy that story? Wasn't it funny how the kids helped the turkeys escape Farmer McNugget? Did you also catch a glimpse of our new word, miniature? A miniature is something that is exactly like something else but much smaller in size. 
Well, if you enjoyed reading with me today, then check out the links to other story read alouds in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on my very next awesome story. Bye!